In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you five business steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show the first step. You can see here I've added the gradient fill along with the shadow effect here. Step one with the icon and then you can add your detailed text like startup and your detailed text can be added here. And when I click, it will show the second step and then it's marketing. The third step is the analytics the fourth step is the brainstorming you can see here and the fifth step is the success so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom of the slide maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give some gray color here then i'm going to add five rectangles here go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle in the center you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give a different color depending on your requirement or you can give the gradient color also that looks also very beautiful then i'm just going to say align center and it's up to you whether you want it more wider or shorter or whatever the size you can define it here. And then I'm going to add one more on the left. Press Ctrl D and change the color to some other color. You can see here and bring it here next to that one and reduce the size. You can see here. Press Ctrl D and add the other side and change this color to some other color. You can see here. Now I'm adding two more. Press Ctrl D. Bring it here. Reduce the size further. You can see here. Again, press Ctrl D. Bring it here. And change the color according to the requirement. And I'm going to select maybe a purple color here. So you can see here I've added five shapes here, rectangle shapes. And make sure that all are properly aligned. So I'm just going to select all this by holding the shift key. Go to format, align, just say bottom. And then I'm going to give some different shapes here. Just go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle here you can see here change the color to some dark color here shape outline make it no outline and then go to rotate and just say flip horizontal and again make sure that this is properly aligned you can see here if i do a slideshow i should not see any gap here then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d bring the other side and format rotate and just stay flip horizontal again and make sure that this is also properly aligned then i'm going to add this uh, effect or uh, the shapes here also again press ctrl d to duplicate this bring it here reduce the size you can see here reduce the size or let me just zoom in and make sure that this is properly aligned if you want you can reduce the size a little bit and then select this press ctrl d add the other side again go to format rotate flip horizontal and again align it properly and then two i'm going to add at the top press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here let me just go to view remove the guides and then i'm going to zoom out sorry zoom in and add it here you can see here and press ctrl d put it here again go to format rotate and flip horizontal and make sure that there is no gap there so you can see here if i just do the slideshow it looks something like this so you can see here i have just completed the basic design now it's time to add some shadow effect here 
to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill and this is what i have used last time so it is coming the same you can see here the type is linear and the direction i'm just selecting this direction here which is the linear right and then i have added three stops you can see here in the center i have made a black color and then on the sides here you can see on the left side i have used the color which i'm going to use here which is the transparency to 100 percent and here also the transparency i've just reduced to 29 percent because this part will go inside so now i'm just going to select this area particular this one and let me just paste it here and then send this to back you can see here or i can simply select this one or bring this to front just click here and you can see here this is front and this color also you can just change this color for example i'll just select this color eyedropper i'm just going to select this color and i'll make the transparency to 100 percent you can see here and if you want you can reduce the size make it more inside so it looks something like this and then press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm just going to change the direction which is i'll just select this side and again i'll put it here and this one first of all this color i have to change it to this color and then i'll make it 100 percent you can see here and then again select this bring to front so you can see here you've got this shadow effect you can make it more inside also if you want and then press ctrl d reduce the size and add it here you can see here just add it here and again this also you can just send this to back for example let me just select this and i will just send this to back and this also i'm just sending this to back again and again i'll just bring this to front so it looks something like this so you have to just add uh this place also press ctrl d and just add it here also again change the color i'm just going to select this you can see here this also i'm just going to select and increase to 100 percent and if you want you can just go to the soft edges also you can increase the but don't need that one again i'm just selecting here move a little bit and then send this to back so likewise we can just add let me just send this to bring this to front and send this to back so you can see here I have just added the shadow and I'm, I'm the same shadow I'm just going to add at the top now if you need you can just add the shadow or you can simply go to insert again shapes I'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape here and shape outline for this also you can make it no outline and I'm just going to select the gradient fill here I have used two stops only you can see here one is the gray and one is the white you can see here so it becomes something like this and if you want again you can increase the soft edges also if you want here it looks something like this but again no need of that so this is i'm just going to select and i'm going to add it here you can see here if it is too dark then you can just select this you can see here this and you can increase the transparency effect so it becomes more lighter you can see here and then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and rotate it to flip horizontal, add it here. You can see here. And then press Ctrl D, add one by one, reduce the size a little bit. Again, Ctrl D, just add it here. So same thing, Ctrl D and bring it here and you can just rotate it 
you can see here the white if you remove the white you can just select this for example let me just increase the size you can see here the white i'm just selecting and i can increase the transparency level also you can see it looks something like this if i remove the transparency and i'm just going to add it here and one more this one press ctrl d and again rotate it flip horizontal and add it here so you can see here i've just added the the shadow effects everywhere and now it's time to add the text this shadow also you can just select and move it inside so that uh, it looks more outside so i can just make it only less visible you can see here i can just select this and make it more inside let me just select this again yeah all right now i'm just going to add the text first of all go to insert text box i will just type step step center align make it bold choose the font of your size choice i'm just selecting oswald and increase the size and just put it here step and change the font color to white and press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to make it 01 or you can use a b c also whatever and increase the size you can see here again align it properly then i'm going to select this two and press ctrl g to duplicate it so group it sorry ctrl d to duplicate and then start adding one by one here just adding it here again make sure that this is properly aligned and then this will be two three four and five so you can see here and then you can add your one more text here go to insert text box and i'm just saying text title zero one for example again you can make the same color i'm just going to use the eyedropper with the blue bold i'll set oswald increase the size and then go to the text orientation i'm going to select rotate all text to 70 degrees and increase the height so it looks something like this and if you want make it center align and you add it here and then if you want you can just go to insert text box add the detail text again this also i can give a gray color again the same thing increase the height you can see here and just add it here and then both i'm going to select press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and just add across for each option you can see here and if you have the icons you can just simply go to insert icons or if you don't have this option you can use it uh, from my old uh, video which i've shared around two weeks back you can get the icons from there and here if you want you can just add some detailed text also here or the headline and if you need you can add simple animations for example let me just go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select for example step one the first one and give a wipe effect you can see here and then the text should come there for example i'll just say uh add animation i can go to more entrance effect and basic zoom you can see here this should happen after previous and this also should come wipe effect you can see here i will say wipe from right and this should also happen with previous for example now if i play it looks something like this you can see here and then i'm going to select the second option for my easy i'm just going to select this option animation painter click here so this will come then i'm just selecting this animation painter this will come 
and then shadow effect i'm going to select this shadow you can see here and i'll give a fade effect here and the fade effect should happen after previous and then i'll select this animation painter click on this sorry i have to select this let me just move a little bit here select this click on this part and then put this back so if i play again it looks something like this so you can see here and then text animation also you can just do the same animation you can just give the wipe effect here all right so wipe effect should happen for example it should happen here i'll just say after previous if i just play now it comes something like this then the second option likewise you can just do for the rest of the options that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye